The immune system is involved in nearly every disease, so we can, in medicine, use the immune system to help fight things like cancer or to help calm the immune system in things like autoimmune disease. So immunology is the study of all of those different cells whose job it is um, yeah, to defend us. But in autoimmune disease, which is what I study, that's when that process goes wrong and that process of attacking viruses and things is actually turned on ourselves and attacking our, our own body. Through immunotherapy, where we reprogram cells of the immune system, we aim to take advantage of the beneficial effects of the immune system, but to get rid of the deleterious and detrimental effects that lead to asthma, allergies and autoimmune disease. Currently what we're doing is treating cancers with um, immunotherapy that um, activate the entire immune system. So that tends to give side effects of autoimmune diseases. And similarly for autoimmune diseases, we're blocking the entire immune system. So that tends to make people more immune suppressed. Um, so we want to move, move beyond those um, sort of initial wins uh, and make more specific therapies that target really just one piece of the um, immune response. The immune system develops in a way that leads to allergies in the absence of early exposure to uh, healthy microbes, for instance, introduced peanuts early in life, and that reduces then the risk of developing peanut allergy. Currently, we think uh, there's something in our Western lifestyle in particular that is increasing these diseases because it really is happening more in Western countries. And we think that's all related to how our immune system is being trained and maybe increasing disease incidence. It's pretty difficult to change the environment. Um, you can change your diet, but it's a complex um, proposition to change the diet of many people who are potentially at risk of disease. So if we're talking about, you know, primary health prevention there. We've been putting effort into understanding how to identify people at risk at the earliest stage of their life. And then once you've identified the people that are at higher risk, you can do something about it. As a community of immunologists, we have a very good understanding of what needs to happen. And really um, the technologies are being applied to those questions to try to make the uh, treatments more specific, um, more broadly applicable and more um, used in combination so that they can be more effective.